Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I fly my favorite ship, the Condor, especially with the fit I'm using. Because it has three rocket launchers, a newt, scram web, shield extender, a B damage control power core, and three core defense field extenders. This is actually a brawl condor and not a kite condor like usually. It is a bit more expensive than my normal fits, like 12 million, but uh, that is necessary on the condor because it is not the strongest ship, so you need to put some more T2 modules on it. In my cargo hold I have uh, Rage Rockets and a Nosferatu to refit in case my enemy has a newt. Uh, basically it's just orbit and hope you newt the enemy out in time. I have 110 DPS, overheated a speed of almost 1.7 kilometers per second, which is quite quick. And it also has a great locking time, so you can catch, ki catch kiters pretty easily. The tank is not too great, but not too bad either about 6k EHP, and yeah, I really enjoyed flying this ship. So let's get into the fights. First fight, I arranged a 1v1 with an Atron at the sun. I warp at zero, so does he. I orbit him at 6500 kilometers, and start shooting with overheated weapons and overheated AB. My nude is not super effective at this range, but I hope I can kill him anyhow. I wanted to make sure I'm out of his blaster range. But uh, soon I decide to go in closer so my nude has more effect on him. There I go, orbit 1000. Because I see he's not really hitting me at all and I still have all my tank left. I go in closer, but he's almost dead already. Now he starts hitting, but he goes down. GFH on. Next fight, I'm sliding in at the same time as the Catalyst is. I hope to catch him inside before he can warp off. Catalyst have really high DPS, so uh, I'm orbiting him a bit further out to make sure he doesn't hit me at all. Seven kilometers. Lock him quick, start nooting, shooting, everything. I see he only has a web, so in the worst case I can warp off. And I also see now that he has two one weapons, so I'm not super concerned. Here you see model light ion particle accelerator one. So I should be able to kill him. He has lots of close range DPS, but with no T2 blasters he can't load null, so not the best range. And he goes down already. Bye bye Catalyst. In this next fight, I land at the same range as a Comet at Cytoplex. I'm not sure if he's Blaster or Railfit, but I orbit him 500 because I expect him to uh, be a Railfit. Start shooting, and he is a bit late on uh, reacting, but here he goes, starts shooting, and he is indeed Railgun fit. And he is quicker than I am, which is a big problem. I'm overheating my weapons at my newt because my only chance is if I can newt him out in time and my AB so I can keep up with him. We're basically the same speed. <laughs> I go like 7 meters per second faster. <laughs> at this point he is almost completely neuted out but he ha still has 3 joints doing damage and I realize a bit too quickly that I should maybe start defanging him. Now I start, and uh, but, I'm also, uh, but I'm already quite low in shields. Now you see his web dropped, so he is almost completely out of cap. I'm out of shields, and he is out of cap. One of his drones is down, he still has two left. I'm overheating my weapons on the drones. It's getting really close. At this point I could have offlined my shield extender so uh, to reduce my signature radius, but I didn't think of that. His second drone dies, but he still has one left. And sadly his last drone finishes me off. Maybe I should have stayed on the Comet and killed him in time, but that's not sure. In this fight a Kite Slicer slides in on me. I have my web and scram preheated to catch him as soon as he wants to pull range, which he does, but I catch him in time. 
Condor has a great locking speed, so it's pretty easy to catch him. And I start orbiting 500. Lasers don't have great tracking, so as soon as I'm in orbit, he really has to juggle applying. And the newt also really does a lot of damage to the slicer, because the slicer has not the best cap. He goes into low hell, and he dies. JF, bye bye Imperial Navy Slicer. Oh, I also caught his pot. And he even had implants in the pot. Quite funny. Easy 30k LP. <laughs> okay, next fight. I am uh, trying to fight this executor navy issue, which is always quite risky. As I slide in, I see he is at zero, so uh, I, su I uh, suspect him to be blaster fit, and the biggest risk is that he has a newt. And here you see he doesn't have a newt, and he's also not tracking me, so I just have to defang his drones in time. And I, I didn't activate my newt until now, because as I said, I was not sure if he had a newt or not, and if I activate my own newt, then uh, it's quite, quite risky. His first drone dies, and I switch to the next one. The dangerous part is always uh, when they, when the cruiser still have drones, so you really need to defend them quickly. I now switch my web off him on the drone, so I apply better. He is not very fast, so I know I can afford the loss of the web on him and put it on the drone instead. Three drones left. Two drones left. The web really helps a lot with applying. You immediately see the damage numbers go up as soon as I web them. Now he recalls his drones, uh, but he only has two left and one of them is already in low hull. So even if he does re uh, deploy them, it's not too big of a risk. I start shooting him and he deploys the drones again. I immediately switch my weapons and web again on the drone. I shoot the damaged the damage drone first and it dies. Switch to the last drone. I ask in local uh, to the people outside to please stay out because I already see a Caracal Navy on scan. And um, I know I definitely can't uh, also survive the Caracal Navy because even if it's ham fit it will apply enough. Now I, when he slides in I see he is uh, neutral and I still hope he would maybe just want to watch and stay out. But uh, sadly he doesn't. Now I see that he starts scrambling the Executor Navy issue and I was thinking for a second maybe I should kill together with the Executor Navy issue, kill the Caracal, but then I see all his friends arriving on these scans so I align out and I get ready to warp off. Was quite sad I couldn't solo kill him because he was basically dead, he had no drones left and uh, I'm cap stable so I could have kept him in, sp in place forever. And here, now that his friends are starting to arrive, I warp off and I get out before anyone points me. GF execute a navy issue. Okay, in this next fight, I am fighting a tormentor. I slide in on him, and now I already see that he has T1 drones, so um, I know it will probably not be the most difficult fight because even with T2 drones, the tormentor is not the best ship to fight the comet, uh, the Condor, because of my newt. And yeah, you see he's not doing a lot of damage to me and he's soon um, struggling with cap. I overhate my, my AB for a bit, so I get into orbit. And now you see he's already newted out. Bang, scram drops, web drops. And yeah, there's not much he can do now. His drones don't do enough damage uh, to kill me in time, so I can pop him pretty easily. He goes into hell and dies. Death Tormentor. After this fight, I talked a bit to the pilot and I found out that he was very new. So um, I challenged him for a rematch and I uh, fitted my ship T1 
So that would make the fight, the fight a lot more interesting. Same tactic as before, Orbit 500 and uh, Shoot and Newt. And even though I now have a T1 Newt, I still hope I can Newt him out in time. And um, yeah, I tell him that we fight till the death because uh, I wanted to replace his ship anyway if he would die. And if I die, it's not too bad. He goes into low armor and now he's knitted out. So again, the fight is basically won. He can't shoot, he can't wrap, he can't scram anymore. Nothing really. And he goes into half hull. I stop overheating now to not burn out last second. <laughs> and he dies. To prove my point that the uh, newt is the only thing that won me the fight, I came back again in the T1 fit without um, without the newt. And we start fighting again. And uh, this time he also did a key at range inst instead of orbit, so it was a lot harder for me to get into orbit and he applied a lot more DPS. I'm hitting my AB, but he is still really, really fast. He's like just 100 meters slower than I am, so I really have... I struggle to catch up to him to, um, to orbit. And as he goes into hell, I'm also going into hell. I offline my shield extender in the hope to reduce my signature radius, but it's too late, and he kills me. GF mate, great fights. Okay, next fight. I find this Thorax sitting in a plex. And I thought, yeah, sure, let's try. If he doesn't have a newt, doesn't have he doesn't really have a chance and uh, I can pretty easily kill him. I was a bit afraid that he would have lots of drones because the Thorax can have two sets of light drones. But now you also see that he has two one guns. I switched off my weapons to shoot him uh, to shoot his drones instead of him, but he doesn't deploy drones, so I just keep shooting him. And now it's basically just orbit and shoot through his tank. <laughs> I don't overheat to save any heat damage in case I need to escape. I was a bit nervous that he would call for, uh, for help. I see that after his shields are down, his armor is dropping rather quickly as well. So I expect some kind of hull tank or active armor tank, but so far he is not wrapping yet. Luckily the NPCs don't attack me and they fight uh, each other, so I don't have to deal with that. He's not hitting me at all. Um, he is dual web fit, but it is not enough to, to keep me in place so he can shack me. And yeah, there you see his hull goes down a lot a uh, lot slower, so he is indeed hull tank. I start overheating my weapons a bit to um, hope to kill him before he calls for friends. He did fly quite good. He um, tried to keep me at range to track, so I had to overheat my AB a few times. If he had drones, it would have been a lot closer, especially if he had two sets of light drones, like warriors or acolytes. That would have been really dangerous. But yeah, like this, it's pretty much a lost fight for him. Feels really bad to get killed like that. It, sorry, mate. <laughs> Can just sit there and watch the ship get poked to death. I overheat my weapons a bit more, but I'm soon going into reload. The Condor really doesn't have a lot of DPS. Takes a long time to break through him. Two rockets left, one rocket left. And in reload. Now I see a Vexor and an Execure Navy issue on these again. And I thought actually that they were his friends arriving to rescue him. So I overheat my weapons, put everything I have on him. And now actually you see that my nude is uh, only neutralizing small amounts. 
So he is completely neutered out from a frigate. One small newt. 17% <laughs> hull remaining. 14 now. Down to the wire. Okay, here is the Executor Navy issue. And the Vexor. I'm getting ready to warp off. There's barely any hull left. Overheating, 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 initiating warp. Getting ready to warp off. And boom, he dies. But I didn't kill him. <laughs> it was actually the uh, Executor Navy issue. It was super funny that he uh, came in last second and got the final blow because he was actually not with him, but also his enemy. In this fight, I go in on a Thrasher and a Punisher. I see that the Thrasher is Archifit and it immediately almost kills all my shields. I try to get into orbit, which actually does work. He still gets one good shot in, but then I'm in orbit and he can't check me anymore. Now the only thing doing damage to me is the Punisher, but the Punisher does have webs on me, uh, so neither of them really does any significant damage to me. And the artillery flasher does not have a lot of tank. I was surprised he had no dual web or anything. He was some weird um, sensor booster fit. I think he was actually meant to camp stations or anything uh, or something like that. Gates or stations. But uh, yeah, his shoots are down, his armor is down, he's going into hell. Punisher is still not doing a lot of damage to me. Half hell. And he dies. Now I start shooting the Punisher. I put range from him to scram kite him. And now it's a bit speed up because uh, yeah, it's basically just shooting him, shooting him, shooting him, and then uh, discovering that I don't have enough tank to kill him before I have to warp off. So I start landing out. Overheat my AB. And as soon as his gram drops, I warp off. Great 2v1, guys. GF. Great, great fight. Okay, yeah, that's all the fights I got. This is such an amazing ship. I, ship. I love to fly it, and uh, also the the great Arkhamban Horizon skin. That's so amazing. Great job, CCP, on that one. <laughs> so yeah, if you have a specific fit or ship you would like to see, please put it in the comments. And have a good day. Bye bye.